Hello everyone and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you all. This one is going to be a little smaller than normal but it's still really good items. Actually on Mother's Day when I had went for a hike we had traveled through a small town that we'd never been through before and they had a Dollar Tree so I stopped there and I couldn't believe the things that I found. So first up I found some new vinyl and they are so mini and cute. I love these. And I was comparing the size to the big one. So the big one is 12 inches by 48 inches. And this is like a beautiful bronze glittery color. Love that. And then these smaller ones are four and a half inches by 48. So if you were doing a project and didn't need something this wide, they do have smaller ones out now. But it's a beautiful floral color and then this navy glittery color. Love those, so beautiful. Then I also found some new fabric. I found this green stripe absolutely love that this reminded me of like a witch's stocking like the socks that she would wear i just love that so cute and then i also found this fabric and this is yelling 80s like look at this i love this so i picked that up as well and this is the full size of the fabric that is just so neat. I love that. Oh, I think I was showing you the wrong side here. So it's blocks of color. And then next up, I found some iron on art and it says blessed. Well, I got two of them because I want to do blessed be. And I don't know if I'm going to put it on a tote or a shirt or what I'm gonna do yet, but I thought that would be a really cool idea to do Bless B. And then I also found some new fairy houses. This one looks like a little pine cone. It is so adorable. This will be great to add to my garden display. And then I also found one that looks like a shoe. <laughs> so cute, I love it. And then I also found this little tree. I thought that was really cool looking. It's got little rocks down there. And this one would be really cute to add a swing to. I think that would be darling. And then I also found these new jars. And these were in the floral aisle where all the vases are. And they're so pretty. So I found this one. It's got some flowers on it and some jute twine. I also found this one. So pretty. And then my favorite is the rainbow. Absolutely love that. And you could use these for pencil holders. You could do artificial flowers, real flowers. Um, if you collect crystals or seashells, you know, you could put all kinds of things in there. Even put it in your craft room for sequins or beads. I think that would be a good idea as well. And then next up in the graduation section, I found these foam scatters. And this came in silver and black as well as gold and black. But I love these, so I picked these up. I'm gonna use these for crafting. And then I found some new stickers. And these have a home and family theme. I love the clock. It is so pretty. And then when I saw these little photo things here, I was like, this would be great to do real mini photos in. So uh, photos of your kids or your family, you would just of course have to do them really small. But I thought that would be so cute to do in a junk journal. 
And then I also found some new children's books. And this one is called Jake Travels Back in Time. And I love the artwork in these. They're so beautiful. And it says, a story with moral values. Then I found Joey the Super Sox Hero. And it looks like it's in the same line because it says the same thing about moral values. And then Sophia the Golden Unicorn. So cute, I love this. Oh, I seen a rainbow. Love that. And then in the teaching tree section, I found some new uh, shaped decor sheets. So I found one with a popsicle. I thought this one would be fun for a junk journal in summer. And of course you have all that room for writing. Then I found this beautiful sunflower and you get 10 in here. Let's see, how many do you, oh, you got 36 in here. That's a great deal. And then you get 10 in here. And then I also found a glittery birdhouse. I love the detail with the glitter. And there's 10 in here. And then, you know, every time I go to Dollar Tree, I look in the book section and normally come home with books. <laughs> so, this one is called Stone Mothers by Erin Kelly. So I picked this up. And what's this one about? This seems like a thriller. So I'm super excited to read that. I also found this journal and it says, write yourself a lantern, a journal inspired by the poet Elizabeth Acevedo. And this was so neat. So there's prompts in here. So this one says, write the last paragraphs of your biography. Calling all poets, this world's been waiting for your genius for a long time. And then you get extra writing space. Look at that beautiful butterfly. I was super excited to find this. So there's just quotes in here and prompts. When was the last time you felt free and a beautiful birdie? I love that. I was super excited to find that. And then this one, this was the only one I found of this, but I was super excited because I love anything World War II. And it says, Survivors of the Holocaust, True Stories of Six Extraordinary Children. And I just thought this was so beautiful. And it's like in comic book style, but I love this. I almost didn't see it because it was like, pushed to the back on the one side and then I noticed the um, spine here and I was like oh my goodness but yeah love that such a beautiful book and then let's see oh in the bath and body section I found some more men's stuff and I love when they come out with men's skincare and stuff like that but this time it's a pocket cologne and there's two. There's cedar wood scented and bergamot spice scented. And look how cute these are. These would be perfect for Father's Day or even if you're thinking, you know, a little ways down the road, these would be perfect for stocking stuffers. But I absolutely love these. They can keep them in their car or in their back pocket. I just thought they were so cute. And I love the guy here with the beard. Oh. It's so cute. Love that. Then I also found some trinket boxes. And I know these came out a while ago, but my Dollar Trees haven't had them. But they're these cute little trinket boxes. So I found the ones with the rainbow. And then I also found the floral ones. And I thought these would be cute too. You could glue them together like this. Or, whoops or like this on top. 
You could put them in your craft area to, to hold the smaller items or your jewelry. I just thought those were so cute. So I picked those up. And then the last items that I about died in the store, I could not believe it. This is my favorite item from Dollar Tree by far. It, it is these quill and inks. And I found it in three different colors pink, blue, and green, and oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. So it's a glass pen with ink, smooth writing, bright color, easy to clean. So I'm gonna open some of these and we're gonna actually try them out. I, want, I wanna try them out here on camera so we all can see how they work, but I could not believe this. I am so excited for this. I love ink and quills. Of course, I'm a writer. So look at this. I love that. Oh my gosh. And then we got the ink. So cool. So let me grab a piece of paper and then we'll try it out and I'll show it to you on screen here. I cannot believe they got these. I am so super excited. Okay. Let's try it out. So you dip it in there. And the ink goes up the little ridges there. So that holds your ink for you. And then you can just write as normal. So it's a little thick. Maybe this paper is, yeah, this paper is really thin. So it took the ink like extremely, but as you use it, then it thins out. But this is, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so at first just know that the lines get thicker, but as the ink um, spreads out on the quill here, then the lines get thinner. But oh, I absolutely love this. I was so super excited. And of course, like I said, they had pink and blue as well. Let me know if you've seen other colors because I'll definitely be on the hunt for them. I absolutely love ink and quills. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and seeing all the new items that I had found. I had a lot of fun searching for them. But be sure to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.